Hello, friends. It's Chopper. You've never had a real job. You don't know what it was like. You don't know what it's like to like be trying to get like a job in retail and worried that the that your fucking middle manager is going to see you voting for someone who supports unions. Fuck you. You don't know anything about this. So like the cable news, like they mainly go to like the big caucuses and like the downtown areas of like the major cities in Iowa, which is like, you know, voting groups that are like naturally favor Buttigieg, Warren, or you would think Biden. <laughs> Their coverage of that when they were like looking at the crowds milling around in each corner of the gymnasium and every single one, the Biden fucking corner looked so fucking sad. It looked so fucking sad. Yeah. It was just like a junior high dance where like the bo- a couple boys all were the just, boys were in one just over, over in a corner just thinking like, mm, I don't know, should I should I ask Amy to dance? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, However, yeah. I, I really think I should get out of this experience with like a weird silent husband. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are hot. But okay, here's why it matters though. Here's why it matters. Up until now, it's been at a national level, Sanders and Biden. Coming out of this, Bernie's got a 15-point lead in yes. New Hampshire. He is currently tied with Joe Biden in New Hampshire. <laughs> oh, no, in, uh, in Nevada. No, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Yes, he is tied. The last thing I saw, tied with Joe Biden in, in Nevada. <laughs> I think we know where the sport's going. In Nevada and trailing by five points in South Carolina <laughs> after he just ate shit. The electable candidate. Yes. Literally, we saw this with our own eyes at his event and everything I've seen on cable on news or any news coverage of this. His only pitch to voters, the only single thing he is offering them is I am the electable candidate that can beat Trump. He is going to finish fourth and maybe even fifth yep. in the Iowa caucus. <laughs> yeah. If you're telling me that those Biden voters aren't, because here's the thing, this is so good for us because the Biden voter, they're just average middle class doofuses. They, they want to win. They just root for the Democratic Party. They want to win. <laughs> That's anything, it. That's anything. it. We we when, when we were watching last night, like when like you were in a gymnasium or like corn suppository, uh, <laughs> where uh, corn suppository. Yeah, yeah. It's the most <laughs> corn suppository. What is this factor. a William Faulkner novel? <laughs> hey. but, oh, well, or, or, I meant, I meant to say I meant to say depository, obviously. <laughs> But uh, to the corn depository. <laughs> yeah, um, they. Uh, my voice is, uh, in case you haven't noticed, right now completely fucking. Shot. We get si- yeah. at least one person, if not all of us, gets no, sick. So, once on tour. So like, yeah, they would. If like you were in one of those places where like a war Warren section collapsed, like it would just be like, this is the worst day of my life. I really tried, and if like a Pete section collapsed, same thing. Like dog, dogs, 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 dogs. But when Biden, we saw so many where it was just like, like this is pretty much everywhere where Biden collapsed was totally unviable and it was clear within a second and they would interview the Biden guy and he'd be like, well, you know, uh, I'm just, I'm just going to stick around here. Hopefully get a pop. Want to hear out everyone. And it's like, pop. we could get those amiable doofuses easy. Yes. Uh, Matt and I covered a real live Iowa caucus, uh, on caucus night and, you know, we saw the whole Megillah, like everyone, you know, arranging into sections. And then uh, uh, then the realignment happens if you don't meet a 15 percent threshold. And at our location, the only three viable candidates were uh, Bernie, Pete and Warren. And the club people and the Biden people and the Yang people, they all had like decent sized size crowds, like pretty similar. So uh, reps from uh Pete, Warren, and Bernie, you know, they go to those crowds and they're like aggressive, like, you know, okay, how can I, how can I, how can I uh, uh, get you into a Bernie Sanders today? And the Amy people and the Biden people, they mostly just kind of scattered around. I didn't see like, like any, like, like definite big motion. It's kind of hard to see, but I, I think it's like kind of, kind of even on their second choices, which is what polling says. But the Yang people, I would say about half of them went to Bernie. Some needed a little cajoling. Uh, but some went immediately to like big, big applause. Uh, but some needed some needed to to hear a pitch. And uh, you know, God bless the uh, 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 people working for the Bernie campaign who are at that precinct location because it looks like they had a hell of a good pitch. Uh, I will say, you know, I know there's some young people listening to the show. I will say, um, you know, if you actually happen to be a young person listen who listens to the show who was caucusing in Iowa and Yang was viable and you went out and caucused for Bernie, thank you. That's cool. Thank you. Uh, if you are in a later state that does not have this arcane moronic caucus system where you just show up, you go to a booth, you just, you know, 
make a vote, and then you leave. If you're still planning to vote for Andrew Yang, do not do that. Andrew Yang will not win. He's not viable. Like, Loser. This, this is this is proven. And, you know, I'm sure whatever re- Often, the thing is, often, people who like Andrew Yang for, you know, political reasons, there's, a, there's a, uh, not just because, like, oh, he has the best memes or whatever. Uh, often, they articulate, uh, uh, they believe that Andrew Yang is, uh, you know, he, he wants to, to redistribute money in this country, something like that. Uh, they think that he represents a, a revolutionary ideal, you know, like he's really, this guy's going to really change the system, man. And he's also, he's going to fix poverty and all that stuff. Um, they think that UBI is redistribution. Yes, they think, they think that. And it's like, look, I'm not going to argue with you on that, but I promise you that whatever you're thinking about Andrew Yang is, and, I, and why you think he's cool is 100% true about Bernie Sanders. But I don't even have to argue about that. It is a wasted vote at this point. That is proven last night. Andrew Yang came out of Iowa with zero delegates. And he was he had 5% of the vote before realignment and approximately 0% after realignment. Lose the zero. Get with the hero. Get with the hero. Yes. Get with the hero. We will welcome you with Look, open arms. Look, there's a arms. female you voice know? saying that. You guys have to listen. I will say this. We will, uh, with, uh, uh, you know, with, with Warren supporters, you know, Okay, there's going to be a little tough love there, okay? You're going to have to go through some kind of reprogramming. But if you're a Yang person, our message is, hey, come on in. Yeah, Pool's it, fine. If you're you're a Yang person, like, God bless you. We'll watch Mythbusters with you. <laughs> we, lo- we love a How lot it's of- made. Yeah, we'll oh, watch love that. all that shit that you love. We love games over here, a lot of us. We're going to get along. This is going to be Homer meeting Gerald Ford. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. Join we the winning team. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we guarantee it. If, you're, if you are one of the clones that Tom Steyer made to vote for him, make him reconstitute you in New Hampshire. We're all going to be a happy family. Seriously, <laughs> this, a winning this family. A, this is an aside. I can't find the exact number again. But, uh, Chris, maybe you remember this. I read it to you in the car. How much money that Tom Steyer spent on TV advertising in Iowa? I believe it was like $18 million. I just saw this quoted online. $14 million. $14 million. For 0.7% of the vote. Less than that. Tom, and He lost to Andrew Yang in Iowa. And again, I just told you Andrew Yang also lost and got zero. Tom, you will have all the friends you would ever want if you join us. Here's the thing, though. And this goes back to why Biden completely collapsing matters. And like, like this is what I'm going to say now it is sort of like data by anecdote, but it's what I got here and it's what I've experienced this week. And I'd like to share it with you. I talked to so many people, Bernie journey people or people from Iowa who are knocking doors, knocking doors for like either they came here this week, this weekend or here the whole fucking month doing this. And I would always ask them. Like, what was your canvassing experience like? Did you have any interesting conversations? Did you get to ring the Bernie sales bell? Did you, you know, did you close any deals? What were like, what were like, who were, who were the hardest people to talk to or convince? They said overwhelmingly that it is so much easier to talk to a knock on a Biden door. What did I say? No, knock on a Biden door. And I'm sorry, knock on a Trump door. Door. Mm-hmm. What did I say? Then it mm-hmm. is to talk mm-hmm. to any one of these Warren and Buttigieg supporters who I'm sorry are th- fucking brainwashed. And now the Warren people look, they were going into Iowa thinking they had a chance to win this. We'll see where they shake out after that. Buttigieg people gone forever. Unreachable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I said, cast them into perdition. Freaks. Mutants. Cast them into absolute. They are Tahin. Cast them into perdition. So like because like the thing is it's easier because like like the Biden people everyone likes Bernie they just don't think he can win or they just want someone who can is electable well Biden obviously is not <laughs> electable and he's Ber- lost half his jacks don't even get me started where he's pulling with 